In today's video, how to know that you're burning body fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Vella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I wanna break down how I take my body from looking like this to looking like this, guys. How do I keep muscle, build muscle, lose body fat? What does the diet look like? What does the cardio look like? And today's video comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. I got a great question from you guys. And it's a very common question that I've been getting a lot lately because I think there's some confusion in the world about how fat is stored, how fat is lost. And I want to talk about the actual mechanism of that and explain to you insulin's role, what is insulin sensitivity. I want to talk a little bit about nutritional fat, nutritional carbohydrates. And I also want to remind you guys we have nine days left. If you're interested in joining our transformation challenge where we're going to give you nutrition plans, training plans, a private Facebook group where we can talk with you guys. It's open to everybody around the world. We're giving away $25,000. That's the end of my spiel. Let's get into the question now. This question has been bothering me so much on the calorie deficit. How does it go in hand with liver glucose levels? What I mean is I know your body will always go for burning liver glucose first before burning actual glycogen. So if I'm in a deficit throughout the day, but every time I eat, it's sending out insulin and replenishing glucose to the liver, how is it burning fat instead of glucose reserve? So you said something here, first off the bat, that's very not true, okay? Your body is not always burning liver glucose first, okay? It is not always burning carbohydrates first. Your body is always burning body fat throughout the day. And I know there's this idea right now that if you eat a meal and God forbid your insulin spikes, well, that's gonna shut down fat storage for I guess, I don't know, a year? Nonsense, okay? If you are in a caloric deficit, even spiking your insulin is not going to cause you to store body fat over a 24 hour period. That is simply nonsense. Think about what that's saying. And the idea that carbohydrates spike your insulin, well, yeah, but nobody eats just carbohydrates. And I also got a line here at the bottom for you that's pretty powerful. Carbohydrates are not stored as body fat. In fact, fat is what is stored in adipose tissue. Carbohydrates, a very, very, very small percent is actually stored in our adipose cells. So what is actually driving that fat storage, okay? What people are worried about is when they eat a huge meal and they spike that insulin and their calories are so high, yes, by taking in a lot of nutritional fat that is gonna be stored in our fat cells. Why? Because we overconsumed. But remember, the body is always burning body fat, always burning body fat, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can't stop it. So what does it come down to? You guessed it, an energy surplus or an energy deficit. So let's talk about insulin. What is insulin? Why are you guys afraid of insulin so much? I hear a lot about this. Okay, and there are health conditions like insulin sensitivity that can lead you to a position where perhaps it is best to decrease your calories. But you know what fixes all that? Weight loss. And you know what causes weight loss? A caloric deficit. So whenever I see these diets that are insulin sensitivity diets, guess what they are? They're calorie restriction diets as well, okay? So it's not like you can just eat whatever you want and avoid carbs and lose weight. You still have to be in a deficit. Insulin is anabolic, guys. Insulin moves calories, it moves glucose into our liver. It moves it into our muscles. And a small, tiny, tiny fraction of it can go into adipose tissue. But here's the other thing. Fat cells don't need insulin to put body fat in them. You don't need insulin. You're storing body fat when you eat fat even if you're not taking in any carbohydrates. And I know that's this big fear right now is like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna spike my insulin because God forbid I do that, I'm gonna store all this fat. Well, I got good, good news and bad news. The good news is it's not about a single meal or a single sitting. It's about the course of your day, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours a week, okay? We can have these huge fluctuations. It's normal for our bodies to go through this period of taking in calories, not being able to lose all that in a single sitting and using the rest of the day. Right, so you've seen these people that do one meal a day. What's the magic in that? Well, crap, if you're only eating one meal a day, the whole rest of the day you're avoiding snacking, you're avoiding drinking calories, you're changing your behavior, guys. That's what drives fat loss, is behavior change, not avoiding carbohydrates. In fact, I diet myself and all of my clients using carbohydrates, all of them. The only exception is if I have someone with diabetes, okay? And that is a health condition. That is not for the average person. If you're talking about something with diabetes, you need to speak to your doctor and listen to your doctor about the nutritional protocol that you could be on. 
ketogenic dieting where we pull carbohydrates so low and pull up fats very high and we start burning ketones is a very successful approach. It's also not what most people think it is. It's not simply pulling out carbohydrates, guys. So you gotta do your research before you dig into this, but you can burn body fat on carbohydrates. In fact, for the bulk of my dieting, I am on well over two to 300 grams of carbs a day. And what's really funny is as I get leaner, as I get close to shredded, when I put you here, I actually have to start raising my carbohydrates for energy to keep muscle, to continue training. And as I do that, I start to burn fat faster. Why? Because my metabolism is ramping up and I'm able to burn through fat. I prefer a higher calorie, higher carbohydrate, moderate fat approach. Okay. Someone like myself, uh, right now I'm 220 pounds and if I'm shredded like to the bone where I look kind of disgusting to the average person, but I look great on a bodybuilding stage, that's 200 pounds for me. That type of fat loss for me means I'm going to probably have my fats around 50 grams a day. That's plenty for my hormones, plenty for my digestion, plenty for me to feel good. I don't need hundreds and hundreds of grams of fat. Okay. I prefer to use carbohydrates when dieting. You do not need to cut out carbohydrates to lose body fat. You just need to pay attention to your overall daily approach. You need to understand energy balance, how many calories you're taking in and how many calories you're losing. And don't get caught up on the calculators. I have a free calculator on my website. I think it does a wonderful job of explaining where your macronutrients should be. But the big picture is take a look at your calories over the course of a week. Take a look at your activity over the course of the week. And if you're not losing weight, you can toggle those switches. You can bring your calories down. You can bring your activity up. That's what drives fat loss, not being scared of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates actually help fat loss. Okay. I have a exercise physiology book over there. And one of my favorite lines is fat burns in a carbohydrate flame. Carbohydrates are your body's preferred fuel source. And I know a lot of people will say, well, carbohydrates, they're not essential. Who cares if they're essential? That's what our body wants to burn. That's what we prefer as fuel source. So if you want to burn some fat, take in some carbohydrates, go move, go be active. Okay, guys, dietary fat is stored as mostly adipose tissue. Okay. Dietary carbohydrates is almost no adipose tissue. Okay, guys. So stop fearing insulin. Insulin is anabolic. It's good for us. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, Look at our transformation challenge. We got nine days left. We're giving away $25,000. We have a great group of people and uh, yeah, I'm excited for everyone to be in there. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.